morning, friends. I am Patty Elhoff, the author of Upcycle with Decoupage, and I don't know if I should do a little Bollywood dancing after that opening or watch the best exotic marigold hotel for the fifth time. <laughs> that said, this is what we'll be working on for this week. We're going to take a clear glass bowl and we're going to decoupage it and do a few other things to it so that it looks like this. And since we're doing all of the work on the outside, we'll be able to add water on the inside and place a floating candle in here so that you've got some nice, soft lighting for your Thanksgiving table. And here's how I got this started. The very first thing you want to do is make sure this glass is perfectly clean. So I washed it just like I did the regular dishes with some dishwashing liquid. I also used some alcohol all over the outside of it where we'll be doing our decoupage. And I took several different fall napkins because we're going for a whole theme here. So rather than stick with one napkin, I went with a bunch of different fall colors. And I wanted to cut some of these flowers and leaves and images out. So I cut some of these out. And I also wanted to use coffee filters. So I took a little bit of acrylic paint, just regular old acrylic paint in one of my favorite fall colors. I added some water to it and I diluted it so much. I mixed it into what will look like a nice watercolor. And you can play around with this and add a little bit more water to it. I think this paint was a little bit old. It's a little lumpy, but I added a little more water to it. And I went with another color in the bowl right next to it, a bit of a rusty gold color. Did the same thing, added a little bit of the paint, a little bit of the water, mixed it up. Then I tore my coffee filters in half and I dipped them into this watery paint solution. Now on this one, I did half one color, half the other color, and I went back and forth with this. And on some of them, I just did one solid color. And you can see it's got a nice watercolor effect. And while it was wet, I took this metallic Maya Gold paint and rubbed some of it over the surface of this. And I did a few coffee filters in just the one solid color. And look at how this Maya Gold looks on here. This is on my website. It's by uh, Viva Decor. And these metallic paints are just beautiful. They dry just like this, as you'll see. And here it is dry. Look at how pretty that is. And what I did was I took one of the leaves that I hadn't cut out completely yet and I took my small decoupage scissors. You don't want to separate the napkin yet if you're going to do this. And I used this as a pattern and cut out a leaf shape on this coffee filter. And when I was all done and pulled that leaf away, here is how the coffee filter looks. Look at that, just that tiny bit of shimmer around the outside of the edges there. And then I just went ahead and separated that napkin. Here's something else that I did that was a little differently. That's a paper towel down there. This is called flitter glue, by the way. And the paper towel, I spilled a bunch of tea deliberately on the countertop and I mopped up the tea with the paper towel so that it's nice and tea stained. And let it dry. And now I'm taking this flitter glue and I'm going to put it on, this is just a makeup sponge. And I'm going to pounce this all over my rubber stamp. By the way, as soon as you're done doing this, you want to put this under hot running water right away to get this glue off. It's very tacky and sticky. So I pressed this stamp down that says Happy Thanksgiving. It's very, very tacky, so you pull it away. And then you put this gold foil, shiny side up, over where you just stamped. And I took a piece of paper and I took a spoon and I'm rubbing very, very hard here. You should use a bone folder for this. Mine got misplaced. And when I was done with the one side, I flipped the piece over, put the paper on it and went over it again on the back so that when I pulled 
everything away. I had this very pretty Happy Thanksgiving banner on a paper towel. Though this was already tea stained, I still wanted it to look more in line with the fall colors, so I dipped it into our watercolor type solution. Then I put this aside to dry. So now that everything's dry, I'm going to take all of the papers that I cut out, the napkins, the images, and I'm going to start to decoupage. You do want to try to get an idea of where you want to place everything before you actually decoupage it down. So I just did a little bit of a dry run here, placed some images in areas where I thought I would like them, and then I began to decoupage. So I flipped the bowl over because we'll be working on the outside of this bowl, and I placed my image down and for this type of decoupage where you cut out the images it's much easier when you place the napkin down or just the image down first and take your paintbrush and apply the decoupage glue to the back of your image by the way make sure your image is facing forward so when you turn the bowl over, you're seeing the front of this image. It does make a difference, even though they're so sheer. And take the brush, work from the center out, and just apply the decoupage glue carefully. And you may notice I have a tear in the corner of this flower, which is okay. I'll be able to, because this is paper and glue, we'll be able to just glue it back together. But what you want to do is go around the whole bowl and apply all of your images this way. Place them on the dry bowl, put a lot of napkin decoupage glue on your paintbrush and decoupage it to the glass bowl. Here's that dried coffee filter and I'm going to place it face down, dry. I'm adding the napkin decoupage glue to the brush applying it to the back, working from the center out, decoupaging this image down onto the bowl. And I'm going to continue this all around the bowl until I've got all of my images decoupaged onto the back of this bowl facing forward. Now, for me personally, I always like to put these in an oven to dry them. It helps remove wrinkles. It dries it that much faster. You don't have to do this. If you want to put it in an oven, put it in a cold oven. Then set the oven to 170 degrees and let the bowl and the oven heat up together at the same time. When it reaches 170 degrees, turn it off and leave the bowl in for about 10 or 15 minutes. Here's how this looked when I took it, took it out of the oven. This is the back of it, here's the front. I applied one more coat of decoupage glue over the whole surface. I put it back in the oven and took it out. And now what I'd like to do is I'm going to take this iridescent medium and a sponge, a, a sea sponge, and I'm going to pounce this all over the back of this bowl. Now because this dries so quickly I'm just going to leave it aside to dry rather than put it back in the oven and now that it's dry I'm going to add a coat, I'm actually going to add two coats of white chalk paint. So here's how it looks dry on the inside now with just that pearl finish on the back. And we still, I want to make these napkins pop a little bit more because it's still a little bit too sheer. So I'm now going to add the two coats of chalk paint. And because chalk paint is already so dry, it dried very quickly. So I was able to put these two coats on within a half an hour. And you can see where the napkins are really starting to show up 
with that white chalk paint in back of the iridescent medium. And now that the chalk paint is all dry, and here's how our bowl looks on the inside, I wanted to make the outside consistent with that inside. So what I did was I went back to our Maya Gold paint by Viva Decor, and I painted it all around the outside. This color is called Orange Gold, by the way. And as always, all of these will be on my website along with the supply list. And the link to my website is in the description of this video. So I took a regular paintbrush and just began to add one coat of this orange gold paint by Viva Decor. This dried pretty quickly also, and then I just added a spray top coat, which I didn't film, but I added a spray top coat over this when I was all done. There's one thing that I do want to mention. As I added the Maya Gold paint, I started to notice that there were quite a few what looked like lumps. It's not the paint. It's because I used the three different textures of paper which would be the coffee filters and the napkins and the paper towels. Now I don't mind this. To me it looks like there's some texture on the outside and I love the look of that. So if, if that does bother you though and you just want this to be perfectly flat like glass, you may want to just stick to one of those papers. Uh, probably the napkins are the way to go. And by the way, when I was all done covering this outside and I let it dry, I then flipped this over and I just took a sponge brush and went around the rim here to make sure that I got rid of all of uh, the white paint, any of the white paint that went up around the top. And just took this side of the sponge brush and just dabbed it all along the edges here like this, then put this aside to dry. And now here's how this looks once we're all finished. And you can see how the iridescence shows through. Just added a little bit more sparkle or holiday festivity-ness. <laughs> Is that a word? <laughs> to the inside of our bowl. And you can see the Happy Thanksgiving written in there. And now I'm going to put a little bit of water on the inside of this. And because we've done all of this decoupage on the outside of the bowl, our work is perfectly protected. And I'm going to make two more of these because when we have our dinner, our Thanksgiving table, it's a long, it's an oblong table. So I'm going to want three of these in the center with this very soft lighting just moving around the bowl. And that is our project for the week, my friends. I will show you a few more shots of this in different lights. So you can see it in the nighttime uh, under bright light. I want you to see how the bowl came out. And all of the products are listed on my website. That's the Upcycle Decoupage website. The link is right below that will take you to my blog page, though, which will tell you the list of all of the supplies. And I have a Facebook page called Upcycle with Decoupage. If you go over and like and follow the page, you'll be notified every week when I put a new video out. And my website does go through Amazon, so if you've got Amazon Prime, all of those same features and benefits apply. And by the way, you can buy anything you'd like while you're over at Amazon through my site. You don't just need to get things that I'm selling. While you're over there, you can get your Christmas shopping started or done. I know some of you are really on top of that. <laughs> I wish I could be like that. And I just wanted to say thank you again to all of you for subscribing, your comments, your questions, all of your posts. I really appreciate those and I try to get back to you as soon as I can. It does normally take about a week, but in the meantime, my friends, I love making these videos for you. If you've got any questions, let me know. I'll try to help you out. And I will see you next week with another video. Thanks again, guys. Bye-bye.